Hello, so I wanted to talk to you today about post-construction cleanup, um, bank cleanings, anything that you get online through Home Advisor, through Tomtac, through any phone calls or emails that come through your office. And we still get a lot of those where the client is calling and they're saying, you know, I don't really want you to come and see it but this is what I have. And they sent you, they might send you like um, a list of all the specifications. And, or sometimes they don't send you anything. They just tell you, I have a 2,000 square feet account. Can you give me a price before you come out? And my answer is always, don't ever give them a price unless it is within your company policy not to go out and see one-time cleanings or poor construction cleanings that are smaller than a specific uh, square footage. So for example, we have a specific square footage and we don't go out to see those accounts unless it goes over that, that amount. So let's say it's 4,000 square feet. We, don't, we do not go out to see any accounts on the commercial side unless they go above that certain square footage. And the reason why is because anything below that, we know that we're gonna charge them let's say we're going to have a minimum charge. Let's say it's 2,000 square feet and the minimum square footage we require to do in one size 2,000 square feet. So if we have an account that is 2,000 square feet and, or 1,800 square feet and they say, can you come out and do, a, uh, and do an on site? We say, no, we don't want to do an on We would love to do an on site, but first let me give you the average pricing for an account that size. That way, if it's not worth your time, it's not worth your time. So we got to the point where we can say that. But if you're just starting out and you need to get accounts, you will definitely want to go out and see them. But my point is, do not give a quote unless you are 100% certain that you're going to make enough money with that amount. So if we have a ton Tomtac, if you have a home advisor, a Yelp, whoever it may be calling in or emailing and saying, can you give me a price quote before you come out and see it? I highly don't recommend to do that. Number one, because you don't know what surfaces are there. You don't really know if um, sometimes the client doesn't even know the size. They give you a size, a square footage amount, and it's wrong. So you have to go out and measure. You have to make sure that you check the surfaces, what type of floors, how many cleaners you think you're going to need for that account. You got to do all of this before you can ever say, I think it's going to cost this. Because the moment you say, I think, or in May, the client is going to hold you up to that amount. And then it's going to be very hard for you to tell them, I recalculated everything. And in order for me to take this account, I got to make this match. The clients don't want to like that. So don't ever give an amount until you go out and see the accounts. No matter how good it seems, don't ever give a price without seeing the account and doing all the calculations. You got to make sure that you calculate the price. If you're going to do the price per square footage, make sure that you really take notice of all the square feet in the unit. If you're going to do it by the hourly rate, you got to make sure that you calculate all the square footage all the surfaces, and then you go line by line. How long is it going to take you to wipe the sink handles? How many sink handles there are? How long is it going to take you to vacuum the floor? What's the square footage of the floor? How many desks are there? How many windows do you have to polish? Do you have to do the outside? How often do you? So there is so much that, that is involved before you give a price that you should never give a price without seeing the space and then going back to your office and calculating everything. Don't ever give a price right in front of the, in, I don't do that. Number one, you don't really know how much it's going to take you because you're, you're not there to calculate everything, right? Unless the client is going to wait with you and they're going to wait for you to calculate everything, you're not going to give them the right price. You might be shooting yourself in the foot by doing that because you want to get the account, you want them to sign a contract, if you really that in that hurry, they, they will notice and they will take advantage of that. So again, don't ever give prices um, without going to see those post construction or commercial accounts. Highly recommend for you to do your homework and make sure that you know what your expenses are so you can make money. We hear all the time, people go out and give really, really low prices and they don't make enough money. So I hope this helped. Um, let me know if there's anything else that I can help you with.